I've been using T-Mobile 5G home internet for the last couple of years. And one of the things that I really don't like about the service is its lack of customizability for its customers. And it's even down to some of the simplest things like turning the Wi-Fi off on my gateway so that I could use my own router and use the Wi-Fi within that router. And they don't let you do that. And so today we're gonna to be talking about the Invisigig 5G modem from Haven Technologies. Now, full disclosure, they did send this to me free of charge, but the views and opinions in this video are completely mine and I'm not being paid to say anything. So what is Invisigig? Invisigig is a 5G cellular modem and it offers four SMA antenna ports. Now it does come with four antennas, but you can also connect it to an external antenna like a 4x4 MIMO or the quad link that is sold by Haven Technologies. Basically, if you can get it to connect to an SMA port, you can hook it up. The Invisigig 5G modem is literally just that. It's just a modem. And that is what's so awesome about this. It doesn't have any kind of routing capabilities. There's nothing else built into it. You can connect it to a single computer directly via an RJ45 ethernet cord, or you can connect it to any router you'd like and then configure that router uh, to whatever your network needs are. Now, I've been testing this out for the last two months. I have to say it's probably the best 5G internet device I have used with my T-Mobile 5G home internet without even configuring it. After I put my SIM card in, I was getting higher speeds than I saw on any other 5G device I've tested, whether it was provided from T-Mobile or third party this bar none blows them all out of the water. It's literally mind blowing. So I don't know why T-Mobile doesn't offer something like this for its customers, but they really should. With all that, let's take a closer look at what the Invisigig has to offer. So we're gonna hop over to the computer and I'm just gonna walk you through what the software looks like. I'm not gonna go through this elaborate in-depth thing. This is just a high level kind of walk through over some of the features that it does offer within the firmware. If you'd like to look into how to set it up or some of the other information, Haven Technologies actually has produced a bunch of really good support videos on this already. And I'll link that down in the description for everybody to check out if you'd like to look at those. Taking a closer look at the Invisigig 5G firmware, you will see that the screen gives you three different options. One is to log in, two is for modem information, and three is for live signal. Now to get to this screen, you just need to open up a web browser on any computer, and you need to go to 192.168.225.1. That is the default modem IP address out of the box. Please ignore where I have 192.168.12.1. I've changed mine to match T-Mobile 5G home internet, and so you will not go to this address here. Just ignore it. Once you get here, you're gonna to wanna to log in in order to get to most of the features of the firmware. But if for whatever reason you just wanted a quick look at something, you could just press two and then return and get some modem information. And it will tell you if you have internet, it will give you some IP information, your firmware information, your carrier, network mode, your enabled bands and, and whatnot. And I just have the default configuration set up here for the purposes of this video, just so that you can get a better look of some of the things that it's able to do. Same thing, if you don't know where to put the modem, you can actually go to three for live signal and you can it will give you your real time signal to power, signal quality and signal to noise ratio so that you can get a better idea of where you should place the modem within your home. Once you're done, you just press X or Q to quit and you'll be returned to the main menu. And then to get to all of the other features, we're just gonna press one to log in. Now the actual default password, I'll put at the bottom of the screen here, but it's gonna be change with a capital C, me, both uh, M and E are capital, the number two and then dollar sign. So shift and then the number four key in order to log in for the very first time, or if you've just never changed the password uh, previously. I've changed mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here, but if you would like to take the opportunity to change it, just press one and then return, and then it will allow you to change that password to anything you'd like. Now, looking into the features here, we're not gonna go through all of these in depth. I just wanna kind of give a good once over for what the actual modem offers in terms of features. So we've already covered the first couple here. We're not gonna go over modem info or live signal because those were on the previous screen. 
uh, network mode. So number four is going to allow you to select whether or not you want to do 4G, LTE only, LTE and 5G, which is NSA or SA, which is 5G only. And that's going to be a blanket band selection, I guess is a good way to put it. Uh, if you'd like to pick specific bands, then if you go back to the main menu, all you have to do is press return and it won't change anything. You can actually do number five, which is the next one for band locking. And so if we go in here, you can have the first three options from the previous screen, or you can literally just pick and choose a la carte, whatever you'd like to put in here. You'll just type the bands in and then save them. But I'm not gonna do any of that for this video, so I'm just gonna to return to the main menu. Now you also have the ability, uh, number six, to do a tower lock. If you have more than one tower in your area and maybe one of them has better bands, it's been upgraded, and but maybe it's farther away, right? So your modem is not uh, primarily accessing that tower. You can actually lock that tower in so that you're getting those better speeds if you so choose. Number seven is going to be your carrier profile selection in APN. And you have the ability to do this automatically based on the SIM card that you put into the device. It will try and scan it and choose the best one. If for whatever reason your carrier is not listed or not built in, then you do have the option to type everything in manually if we select two and then you're gonna get a warning just basically telling you that you need to reboot your device once this is done, but we'll just select Y. If you wanna do manual manual where you're inputting everything, you're gonna select number one for generic, and then that will allow you to input whatever your APN is and your settings from there. Most people I think are gonna find something that they need here from the list though. So you'll see for me, T-Mobile 5G home internet is listed as number four. But one thing to note with T-Mobile specifically is after you would select number four and it changes your actual carrier profile, you will need to return to the main menu and type in the word repair in all capital letters. And once you do that, you're gonna get a warning because this is gonna change your IMEI number. And so this is not necessarily legal in all countries and it can break your carrier's terms of service. Now it is legal to do in the United States and for T-Mobile specifically, I can't speak for any other carrier, it is also legal. It's not gonna break any terms of service. They don't care if we do this and you shouldn't have any adverse reactions from doing this to your account. So if we press Y and enter, it will allow you to take the IMEI number and the serial number off of the back of your T-Mobile 5G home internet provided gateway and then input that here. And so once you do that, you just press return and then it will allow you to do it for the serial number. Once you have that done, you press return and it will do the same thing. Now I'm not changing mine because I already have mine set up, but for the purposes of this video, that is how you would do it. Just keep in mind that if you're not using T-Mobile or you don't live in the United States, uh, anything that happens to you guys is completely on you for doing this. Moving on, so we have Invisigig update. And what I really like about this, which is number eight, is it will check for updates, it will download the update, and it will install the update all within this process. So you don't have to download any files separately on your computer and then upload them to the modem. You don't have to put it on an SD card and put the SD card in the modem. It doesn't even have an SD card slot, but there's nothing external you need to do to update the firmware, which is really cool. So it's all contained in here. And the only thing you really need to do is reboot after it's installed and it pretty much takes care of everything itself. If for whatever reason you screwed something up and you can't figure out how to undo it or fix it, then you can do number nine for factory defaults and it will restore everything to include the password and the IP address as it was brand new out of the box. Now, I don't use number 10. I don't have more than one modem, so I have no need to set up multiple modems or use any kind of local IP. Number 11 is for any SIM card that will allow text messages. So it's typically gonna be a SIM card that you took out of a phone or maybe a tablet and you've stuck it in the modem because it has a data plan. It will allow you to go in here and retrieve and delete text messages that were sent to the SIM card. At this time, you're not able to actually send any text messages from here. 
And honestly, I don't know why you would probably want to do that anyway. That seems like a, more of a pain than it's worth. But nonetheless, uh, moving on, Watchdog and Schedule Restart is a really cool feature. So number 12, if we go in here and you connect Watchdog, it will actually watch for disruptions in your internet connection. And if for whatever reason you lose your internet connection, it will restart your modem for you so that you can get that internet connection brought back up. Now, one thing to keep in mind that this will also do is if you have done any kind of band locking or tower locking or any kind of custom setups and you're constantly losing your internet connection, it has the capability to go in and automatically restore those settings to the factory defaults in order to keep your internet connection fully restored. So that's pretty cool too. Dark mode does exactly what it says. It's just gonna invert our colors here. So number 13, if I show you this here, it's gonna reconnect. And now what was white is now black and what was black is now white. So if you're working in a low light situation or the white background hurts your eyes, then uh, this would be a good choice for you. And then last but not least, reboot does just what it says. It just reboots your modem. In the event you changed any settings and you need to reboot it, that keeps you from physically getting up and going and unplugging the device, plugging it back in, so on and so forth. And that was just a quick look at the firmware. And so now we're gonna kind of move over and take a look at some speed tests and show you what the ping is for the Invisigig 5G modem in comparison to some of the other gateways that are provided by T-Mobile specifically, because that's the internet service provider that I am using, as well as a couple of other devices that is offered from Haven Technologies. First up, we're gonna take a look at how the InvisiGig stacks up to the stock gateways that are provided by T-Mobile. And specifically, I'm talking about the Nokia, the original Arcadian, and the Sagemcom gateways. And you will see here we have on average 20 milliseconds for our ping, and an outstanding download speed of 743 megabits per second, which is to date the fastest I've ever had on this platform. Now, how does that compare to other offerings from Haven Technologies, specifically the Next Pro 5G gateways? I was able to test both the Mesh Plus and the Wi-Fi X models, and I can tell you that the Invisigig shined here again. So we carried over our ping as well as our download speed, and then I added my average upload speed of 152 megabits per second, and you will see that it blows the other two out of the water. With the exception of the Wi-Fi X model that had slightly lower ping, but the other speeds, it just completely obliterates. I really think anybody who decides to pick one of these up is gonna be very happy with it. I saw improvements to my ping download and upload speeds, and I gained so much customizability, it's insane. If you do wanna pick one up, I'm gonna throw a link down in the description for you guys. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. It costs you nothing to use, but it does help my channel out, so I appreciate each and every one of you that choose to use it. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of future uploads. And that's all I got for this one. Peace.